Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be talking about how to prune your orchids. So a lot of people would actually have these two common types of orchids available in the market like the Dendrobium and the Phalaenopsis. So today we will only look at pruning these two. So why pruning you may ask? If you want continuous blooms faster then pruning is definitely advisable. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to prune your orchids, but keeping your orchids neat and tidy can definitely help. So unfortunately, at this moment, I do not have any orchids blooming, I just have the buds. However, let's get moving and see how pruning your orchid is easy and fruitful. Please never make the mistake of cutting off the stem of the orchid, which is this. Cut only the spent blooms stock. So there is no particular time you need to prune your orchids. Keep pruning the spent bloom stalks after every flowering. My orchids bloom throughout the year because I give it the right amount of sunlight, water, drainage and fertilizer that is very important for making your orchids bloom over and over again. And you must remember that these orchids can survive up to 50 years. So please do not throw away your orchids. Give it some tender love and care and it will do perfectly fine and give you so much that you will be astounded. So now let us look at the materials that you will need to prune your orchids. First we would need pruning shears, then a cotton swab and then isopropyl alcohol to sterilize the shears. So sterilizing your shears is very important before you prune any plant for that matter, especially orchids because they are very susceptible to some fungal diseases that could spread from one plant to another. Some people use fire and burn the shears before pruning. I believe that you will just be damaging the shear if you do so. The simple way to clean your shears is by using rubbing alcohol that you can get in any medical store. So after sterilizing, we can start pruning. So for your dendrobiums, you can follow this method. So each of the bud stalks arise from these nodes that are found between the leaves. So you can go to the bottom most part of the spent stalk and cut it at the base like this. Do not worry, a small part of the stalk will be left out and that is perfectly fine. Now do not try propagating this cutting, it will not work. So just throw it away. So now you can see a close-up of the cutting. When these spent stalks are gone, now the plant will focus on the new flower stalk and also spend its energy in creating new blooms and will no longer spend its energy on such dead stalks. Additionally, you can prune these dead stems that look very brown and crumply. If it is still green in color, it would be advisable for you to leave it alone because you could have new plants arising from it. So now from the dendrobium, let us move on to the Phalaenopsis orchid and you can prune the Phalaenopsis a little more differently from the dendrobium. For the Phalaenopsis orchid, you need to check for the nodes on the spent flower stalk. Cut the stalk just after the fourth node from the bottom. For this, yet again clean your shears with rubbing alcohol before pruning. Cut the stalk just above the fourth node like this because you will get new flower stalks coming from the nodes below. The nursery guys have actually cut the stalks till the bottom which is fine and there is no harm but you can follow this way of pruning as well because as you can see here we have buds coming from these nodes already. And the other interesting part is that this is also blooming at the leaf nodes. I am definitely super excited to have this beautiful Phalaenopsis in my orchid collection. So that is it folks, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore. I hope this video was helpful for all you orchid enthusiasts. I will definitely give you an update on this plant very soon. So keep commenting, sharing, liking and subscribing. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, the links for which will be given below.
Until we meet again, here is a glimpse of my beautiful flowering garlic wine, the colour of which will leave you mesmerised. Thank you and goodbye.